The Monongahela River is an American treasure. Since the Clean Water Act of 1972, water quality has rebounded. Swimming is back in fashion. Fishing tournaments abound. It's a boater's joy. The kingfisher, osprey, and heron rule the sky. However, litter is everywhere. Where does it come from? Some is dumped into the river by ignorant, inconsiderate people who have no respect for the earth or their own homes. Much is washed from the roads and highways during storms into streams, then into the river. Where does it go? Downstream, lodging for a time along the shore or behind a dam until the next high water. To the Ohio, onto the Mississippi, then into the Gulf of Mexico. It's a disgrace. And what's worse, it's harmful to endangered species such as the albatross. These grand birds thousands of miles away are swallowing plastic bottle caps and cigarette lighters and dying. Because of litter on our roads and in our streams and rivers, there is no easy way to remove the litter and help save these birds. We do it slowly, piece by piece, eliminating everything from the smallest bottle caps to tires, basketballs, and thousands of plastic bottles. It's hard work, but we're preventing litter from going downstream and into the oceans. We're cleaning up an unsightly blemish on the beautiful river and perhaps we are saving some albatross. When you drive by the Morgantown Lock and Dam, oftentimes there is a significant amount of trash behind it. And that's why two residents go out on the Monongahela River almost every weekend to clean up the trash. Tim and Maureen Terman collected nine bags of garbage, a tire, propane tank, and other miscellaneous floating items. They say this is the litter that gets caught behind the lock and dam and makes the river look trashy. Herman says the river is a healthy river, a perfect place for fishing and swimming and to attract tourism into the state, but not with all the floating shoes and other litter. He says the trash gets pushed by the wind right into the water and has a negative impact on wildlife and the city's image. For too long, trash in our river has been the status quo. Not now. The Mon River Revival seeks to remove litter from the Monongahela while demonstrating to the public that litter on the roads and in the river is unacceptable. We also want to introduce young people to boating and other recreational opportunities on the Mon by having them help as volunteers. This educational component is critical and may offer a long-term solution to the problem. Want to help? Read about how your youth group can become crew members on our boat, the Monongahela Monitor. We'd like to come to your meeting and give you a presentation about the river, too. And we need your financial support. A donation of whatever amount will eliminate plastic and other junk on the river. Junk that is killing the world's largest flying birds way out in the oceans. Thanks for visiting.